And the winner of the best racing story broadcast goes to Carl Kaldawi for the story on David Hall and the contribution David has made to the Kangaroo Island community over the years following the fires there this January. Kangaroo Island has been devastated by these bushfires. But we're a very proud community and we'll work hard to support and help any fellow Australians in need. I'm David Hall. I've been training racehorses here since 1976 and the love of horses has been bred into me. I still do nearly all the work on my racehorses. I teach them how to jump out of the starting gate. I gallop them. I would even ride them race day, but they won't let me because I'm too heavy. I'm also a volunteer firefighter. I have been almost the same time as I've been a trainer. I'm a lieutenant with the Haynes McGillivray CFS, which means that I have a number of people under my command when we're on the, on the truck. Certainly the, the fires that we've had on Kangaroo Island are so much bigger than we've ever experienced before. The number of stories that one hears of how many close calls, we could have lost a dozen other people without a shadow of a doubt. As a volunteer firefighter, there were some other lads that were on our truck, along with three other trucks, were putting out fires, but then they had to protect themselves, is what we call a burnover, where they couldn't go anywhere, so they had to get on the trucks, put the nozzles outside, and that water then keeps the radiant heat off the truck. One lad in particular, uh, it's really only his first year, it, uh, it shook him up a little bit. Us older ones have done what we can to help them, and, and I know that young lad in particular that I'm thinking of, he has since gone out on the truck and, and he's quite confident he's fine now. But his mum said he was certainly pretty shook up. It's not, not just once that I've sort of teared up. People telling me that they're driving their prime mover down the road, and flames 15, 20 feet high, and the truck dies. And they're on the phone to a, a mate saying, hey, look, I'm not gonna get out of this. Can you look after my wife and three kids? That's enough to um, shock anyone, I think. I'm on record as saying, if we're still fighting fires when January the 25th comes up, we won't run the races. We can soon call it off, but we would like to run the races and give people something else to focus on. Come and enjoy themselves for a day. I was born on Kangaroo Island. My grandfather was born on Kangaroo Island. My great grandmother came to Kangaroo Island when she was three. So I feel I'm part of Kangaroo Island's fabric and I just enjoy being part of the community. I'm proud to be a, a racehorse trainer. And as far as a, a firefighter goes, I don't go out and look to fight fires if I don't have to, but I'm quite happy to go and do my bit for the community because I just love being a kangaroo Islander. <laughs>